Good afternoon. I'm Karen Marsdale, and I'm on staff at the Greater Reading Chamber Alliance, and we're here for another episode of Chamber Spotlight. And I'm thrilled today because, you know, we have such diversity among our members um, at, at the Chamber. And one might not think, because we happen to be a business association, how integrated we are with our educators in our community. And it's my pleasure today to interview Stacy Dunleavy from the Berks County Intermediate Unit. So welcome, Stacy. Thank you, I'm so excited to be here. Well, I'm thrilled because what we're gonna talk about today is something that I'm pretty passionate about and was, was um, have kind of been, um, I would say, involved for quite some time. Yes, absolutely. Um, and there were times when it kind of got frustrating and people are going to ask, what are we talking about? <laughs> this is an educator talking to somebody in business. But, you know, there is so much importance um, that we have to place on the role that businesses play with our education world. And sometimes I think in the past there was not as much conversation, mm -hmm. but something that kind of fast forwarded and that was the need for, for children from elementary all through high school to have an experience of some sort in the world of work. And that might mean something as simple as, and you've all, you've all seen this, where you know it's mom or dad or whomever comes into a classroom and they are a firefighter mm -hmm. or they're a policeman or they're a nurse and they talk about what they do for a living and then then there's a little bit more in-depth um, uh, need I think as that child develops and evolves into something you know that, that I'm good in math mm -hmm. but I don't want to be a math teacher right. or I'm good at and these are this is the scope mm -hmm. of what I can do with what I what I love to do and so I think with what we're calling career ready Berks yep. Um, which um, I'm going to have Stacy more um, adeptly and articulate more you know, in a manner that's going to be understandable for most of you, um, just what's happening right here in Berks County among our educators and among our business people. So mm -hmm. let's talk about okay. Career Ready Berks. Career Ready Berks. It's a very exciting time in Berks County um, for our educators and for our businesses. Career Ready Berks is really um, a two piece. It's about people and it's about programming. So the people side of Career Ready Berks are the 18 school districts in Berks County. 18. Uh, it, all 18. 18. Along with our career and technical centers. Mm -hmm. Um, business partners and very important partners like the Chamber and the Workforce Development Board um, have all come together to say, okay, we want to provide equity and access to career exploration activities for our students. So we need the businesses for that. We need sure. them to open their doors and to say, yes, we want these students to come in. We need our schools to open their doors and say, yes, we want these businesses to come and help us with what we can do to prepare our students. So that's the people side of it. The programming side of it is um, a systematic framework that was developed. Um, all of the school district worked on this together, but it's a framework for the schools to follow on how to integrate career information all the way from kindergarten through senior year in appropriate ways so that our students can be better informed mm -hmm. about making decisions. Um, we really looked at our graduates and we said, wow, they're so successful, they're graduating. Mm -hmm. But we can't just end there. We can't just say they graduated and we're done. Um, we need them to be making really smart decisions about sure. what they're going to do after Absolutely. graduation. And that takes information, it takes exposure, it takes experiences, and that's really what Career Ready Berks has come together to do. And you know, what I love about it is, and, and, and I have been sitting on the steering committee for this um, initiative for, for quite some time, and it just made perfect sense because when you think about a student as, you know, this young developing um, individual and wherever that student happens to be, whether they're right in the midst of Reading and they're in the mm -hmm. Reading School District or if they're way out in Hamburg or, mm -hmm. or Oli as I live, they may not have any idea about what 
a job is, like I said, you know, I love math, but I'm not quite sure. Mm -hmm. You know, can math be something that's totally different when it when it's when when you look at the the career choices? Yeah. And so making those good decisions means I have to be informed. Yes. And so being informed is is saying really to to our business community, which is so diverse and so varied in the things that they do, the things that they create, the um, the size of the business mm -hmm. that there's just there's an opportunity for every yes. one of our 70,000 students 70, as Dr. Hackman yes. always tells us it's all about the 70,000 yes. students and so really there's a framework here mm -hmm. that's really very basic yes it's a website it's an opportunity for a business to say if you're interested in being a part of this exciting new initiative for Berks County and the 70,000 students would you be as a business interested in being a part of this right and honestly most of them say yes right absolutely our turnout from business has been amazing um, so much enthusiasm from the businesses and industries in Berks County because we're really telling them you're helping us and helping our students but we want to help you by building our workforce in Berks County sure sure we have so much talent here in Berks County in our schools we want that talent to stay here. And we want to feed that pipeline of workforce development yeah. in our businesses. So who better to do that but our own businesses? Right, and you know what? It's a perfect, it's a perfect marriage because as we, um, as the chamber, hear continually from businesses, regardless of sector and regardless of size, either A, I'm really worried about the pipeline mm -hmm. for the next generation of people who will come to work for me, but they're also saying things like, well, I can't get good people. And you know, we sort of look at them with, well, if you think you can't get good people, where are you going to find them? Mm -hmm. And sometimes they're right in your own backyard. Sometimes mm -hmm. they're right in your own business and you don't realize mm -hmm. it too, and that's for another story. <laughs> but you know, if somebody today said, you know what, I'm in. I will be absolutely happy to do whatever it takes, whether it's job shadowing, whether it's an internship, whether it's, you know, it's a, coming into the classroom and talking about the fact that I make this and this is something really unique and then the kids are going to go wow yeah. that's really cool how do you make that and then they're going to get an interest mm -hmm. in hmm, well what do I need to do and what what skills and or um, classes do I need to take mm -hmm. in order to do that mm -hmm. um, it's going to start that building that awareness so how Stacy can someone who's listening or viewing us today say I'm all in I want this to be a great community I want it to be even better I want these kids to really get what it means to be able to be um, whatever it is yeah. well your first stop is to go to careerreadyburks.org that's easy careerreadyburks.org right onto our website and there is information there so if you want to learn more there are information providers, parents, students. So spend some time navigating the website, um, but there is a button that says become a provider. Mm. You click that become a provider button, give us a little bit of information about your business, and you will be getting a phone call from our business liaison um, setting up an appointment to onboard you to the platform. So it's so easy. You don't even have to very really be easy. a techno guru to be able not to do this. Not at all. We will walk you through right. this. It's a very simple process. And we have people available to answer your questions. We can talk about the different experiences available. And, you know, as you mentioned, it can be as simple as I'll come out to a classroom once a year and mm -hmm. do a talk. It can become as involved as I'll take an intern for a semester. Um, so there's a lot in between that um, we have available for right, our businesses. Right, and I think that that's the beauty of it is the fact that you don't have to be East Penn Manufacturing, who's a big supporter, Absolutely not. or um, you know a Brentwood Industries or, or Tower Health. You don't need to have the, the the capacity of people. You just need to have the willingness to share. And you know what I find throughout I've found throughout the years is that there isn't a business or a business owner in the world who isn't proud of what they've done, they, and rightly so. Yes. And so they want people to know about that. Yes. And those people include our 70,000 students mm -hmm. in Berks County. And their parents. And their parents. And parents are integral to this, really. Mm -hmm. They really are. Because oftentimes parents don't know. Again, they're just as much um, 
kind of in the dark, yes. if you will, as perhaps a student, unless they've really done a lot of research and spent some time, you know, in, even then, it's very hard to kind of know because there's such a, a the gamut is wide. Absolutely, and we're trying to organize that information and make it accessible. Well, I think this is a great thing for Berks County. And by the way, we may just be the pilot. We may be. The pilot for our state, which would right. be cool yep. because of all the work, this groundwork that's been done by a lot of really dedicated people. And it's great to see, as I've sat in meetings, with educators coming together with business folks and they're all saying what can we do together yes. and, and superintendents working together as superintendents and saying it's not about my district or your district it's about the 70,000 it's students. about the 70,000 right. students and it's about Berks County it's about Berks County yeah right absolutely well Stacy it was a pleasure um, I know we work we, we've been doing a yes lot we do <laughs> yes and I and I, I just find it um, you know a pleasure to be able to do this because I believe so much in what well, you're doing. Well, thank you so much. It was a great opportunity to be able yes. to be here and share yes. this. So we want to it's double wonderful. the amount of, of companies. That's right. Absolutely. We will take them on. Take them on. So come That's on. That's right. CareerReadyBurks.org. So memorize that and thank you for being um, here with us today. Thank you. Thank you.